nobody is seeing it. For sure, nobody is talking about it, but there is one inescapable truth that is staring everyone in the face right now. Somebody needs to stand up and have the courage to expose this. We're going to do that here today. What is that truth? Somebody is lying. Anyone who has spent any amount of time in human intelligence or investigative services and full disclosure, that was my job in the U.S. Army. I was an interrogator. Would know right off the bat this story coming out of West Palm about this alleged quote-unquote second assassination attempt on Mr. Trump. That story is so full of holes that somebody somewhere has concocted this nonsense and didn't do a very good job of filling in all the blanks. There is no way any of this story is true. It just makes absolutely no sense, and it's my personal belief that the reason the governor of the state of Florida has decided to step in is because he's already seen it. You see, he's had military-level training. And I think the Patriot nurse has come to this same conclusion as well. She posted a day ago, quote, second assassination attempt on Trump, and we're supposed to trust the feds to investigate it again? No way. DeSantis take control, demand a real investigation, and stop the fed cover-up. We can't afford to let them botch this like last time. Protect the truth, Florida. Well said, Patriot Nurse. Ron DeSantis, the next day, the state of Florida will be conducting its own investigation regarding the attempted, alleged, attempted assassination at Trump International Golf Club. The people deserve the truth about this alleged would-be assassin and how he was supposedly able to get within 500 yards of the former president and current GOP nominee, given the fact that not even the president himself, 24 hours prior to that, Mr. Trump speaking of here, knew he was going to be playing golf there. Somebody is lying. Now, real quick, thank you to everyone who has joined us, Florida Maquis Patreon channel. We talk a lot about psychological operations over there. It's a little bit more advanced when you get to the level where you understand the basics of PSYOPs and then you're able to apply it in a way that you can see the evidence of whatever operation you're running running either being successful or not being successful. If you'd like to join us over there, it's only one US dollar per month, even less if you sign up for an entire year. Fully refundable first 90 days, no questions asked. Real quick, let's answer a question. Florida Maki, why is this video being posted at your alpha site? Are you in a foothold situation? Well, we are. We are at the rally point. There has been a foothold situation occur on YouTube. YouTube decided, very strangely, the timing of it, that make-believe plastic paint and different uh, graphics are now something that are uh, so threatening to the YouTube audience that they had to give my channel not only a warning, but a strike simultaneously and stop me from uploading any content to the main channel. Now, would like to give two enormous shout-outs to Lisa Haven and to Justice Knight. As friends, they have stepped up at their channel and they have made announcements about this and they have redirected their you know, audience saying, hey, if you want to help out the Florida Maquis, guys, thank you so much. I very, very much appreciate it. Lisa Haven, Justice Knight, Restricted Republic. They both have YouTube channels. Website, sign up, absolutely spectacular content here. Things you can see here that you won't see on YouTube. They also have a food channel called We're Forked Up, where it's a little bit more laid back, a little bit more fun, where they go out to different restaurants. They live out in Arizona, and there's a lot of really great uh, culinary options out there. It's uh, not that there aren't in Florida, but I think this is something that they do very well as a couple. Love that channel. Thank you guys so much. The first thing the state of Florida needs to do is get with Mr. Trump and completely evacuate the entire resort of Mar-a-Lago. 
every single human being out of the resort and they need to sweep it for any unauthorized electronic devices. When the FBI came in there, I think they left behind some things because there are things that just don't add up about this issue with the Secret Service, about them not being able to do this or that or the other, or not securing whatever. Nobody is that incompetent. If you know what your enemy is doing and you know what their plans are, I don't care how good they are. Once again, well said. Patriot Nurse, thank you so much for the support of Florida. I know how hard it is these days to say anything positive about Governor DeSantis, but today he signed an executive order. Yes, that's right. We have executive orders here in Florida giving our Attorney General, Ashley Moody, the actual pit bull with lipstick, wide and ranging powers to go after what really happened in this. Now, here's the story they want you to believe. I pulled up Google Earth here just so you can kind of see what's going on here. This is Trump International Golf Club, West Palm Beach. Now, all you have to do is see where they found the guy and where the guy could have been where he was allegedly camped out for 12 hours to see the bunk of the story. Okay, here's the golf here's the golf course right here. Right here at the corner at the intersection of two six major six lane highways. If we zoom in here, where they found the guy, there's a massive sign right here. Huge sign that says Trump International Golf Club right here. You know, beautifully manicured Visually, anybody in this northbound lane, anybody in the westbound lane, anybody in the eastbound lane looking left to turn north, anybody in the southbound lane can easily see where this guy allegedly was. And he was allegedly there for 12 hours with a rifle and nobody knew about it. Think about it from his perspective, though. Think about it from his perspective, though. This guy's been to a war zone. Now, this is their story, not mine. The guy's been to a war zone. The guy has probably heard a little bit of gunfire. Might have operated a weapon. Had an SKS-style rifle with him, with rounds. But what's the story? The story is that he went there. He was able to scout this out. And of all the places he could have gone, he went to the most ridiculous place where it would be the easiest to be caught. Now, allegedly, somehow, he magically knew that Mr. Trump was going to be there, even though it was a last-minute decision to play this course that morning. And he was playing with a guy named Steve Whitkoff. Now, we've mentioned him before. But look at what your other option would have been. All you had to do was go this direction, just a little ways, and lo and behold, you see the hedge right here? There's a beautiful break right here in the hedge. And all you do have to do is walk down right through the trees along these underneath these power lines. And look what you come to. This massive stand of trees. Now, anybody who lives in Florida knows that you could get into a place like this. You, he could have camped out there for a month and nobody would have known. Now, given right across the street is the Palm Beach County Detention Center, but I think that makes it even better. Because nobody would really be considering looking outside a prison for somebody committing a crime. Criminals don't hang out outside prisons. But you've also got this beautiful lake right here where you could hide. But allegedly, out of all of these different options, I can see why over here there are problems. You got a neighborhood over here, a lot of people out walking dogs and going, and you know, so this would have been a problem. But you're saying that he hid behind a, a giant sign that is designed to attract everybody's attention and that he was allegedly right here for 12 hours and nobody, yeah, tell me another one. Tell me another one. Oh, and the story also is that supposedly he's there. He's got an SKS rifle. 
He's had 12 hours to think about what his plan is going to be. And some guys roll up in a golf cart. They allegedly spot, and anybody who lives in Florida knows how ridiculous this story is, allegedly spot some dark iron gunmetal gun metal barrel shrouded way back in the shrubs like that. That he allegedly spotted that. And then open fired on the guy doesn't hit the guy doesn't hit him open fired on a guy who allegedly didn't know he was being fired at and missed fired off four or five rounds didn't miss this guy allegedly did not return fire at all he's sitting there with a loaded sks engaging a couple of guys on a golf cart and he's got a shrouded position undercover and he doesn't he doesn't return fire at all give me a break i mean read through the story us secret service agents stationed a few holes up from where trump was playing notice the muzzle of an ak style rifle sticking through the shrubbery bullshit that lines the course about 400 yards away there is no way 400 yards away you are going to see an ak style rifle sticking out of the shrubbery there's just no effing way you're going to do that. Guys, help me out here. Help me out here, guys. Anybody who's been in the military? Do you remember basic training? Do you remember do you remember qualification? Remember trying to fire on the 300 meter target, the 300 yard target? What did they tell you to do? Now, anybody who hasn't done this, when you're record firing, to qualify with a rifle, you have this big, giant, open field in front of you. That's It's basically open for 300 yards. And down at the very end, the farthest target you have to engage is at 300 yards. Now, if you're looking down the iron sights of your M16, A1, A2, whatever weapon you're using, it's almost impossible to see the pop-up target pop up at 300 yards. Now, the pop-up target is the size of a human torso painted to look like a human being. It's a giant human torso that's going to flop up in the middle of this giant empty field. And even then, you're trained to take your, your eyes off of your sights and scan for that target popping up then, once you have your eyeballs on it, you then move the rifle sights to your eyeballs. You don't put your head back down and then try to look through the sights and then try to, it'll, it'll go down before you have a chance to engage. You're saying that these guys rolling around in a golf cart, roll, just rolling around in a golf cart, just scouting things out Sunday morning, 400 yards away, saw some witsy bitsy, teeny little bitty itty bitty rifle barrel shrouded in a bunch of in a bunch of shrubs out here they saw it from 400 yards away they saw it from 400 yards away but nobody nobody going by this six lane intersection for 12 hours saw anything yeah <laughs> okay sure tell me another one But is anybody bringing this up? No. They're just all, all debating, oh, well, that that is obviously the truth, but now we need to get to the bottom of why the Secret Service is so... How stupid are you? And I don't mean you specifically, listener. I mean, generally speaking, how stupid are people? There's just absolutely no way the story itself, the facts that have been related can possibly be true. And then, then after doing that, after there's live fire, not even being exchanged because this guy didn't fire back. He didn't fire back. He just decides, oh, you know what? I'm going to go hop in my SUV and I'm going to head uh, head up north, up 95. I'm not going to go try to disappear down into the neighborhoods in South Miami where they could never effing find me. Not going to do that. Nope, I'm just going to go hop on I-95 north where there are camera after camera after camera after camera with all sorts of people around getting my license plate number 
and they still don't get the guy for damn near an hour? I mean, it's just... I don't know. Maybe it's because I spent the amount of time in the military doing what I did that it makes it a little bit um, hard for me not to laugh at people believing this this garbage, this horse crap. But right now, I got other things to worry about. Seven days without posting a video on anybody's channel. Unless that's something that, unless you were one of those channels that posted, there really aren't very many anymore that post once a week. You used to be able to do that. Post once a week and you'd be fine. But going seven days without the ability to post can do massive algorithmic damage to a channel. So, thank you so much for being here at the Alpha site. I very, very much appreciate it. If you think there's something, you know, believable about their story that I have missed, please, by all means... Let me know. I, I have no idea how any remotely reasonable, rational person can believe anything about the, the official story. It's just, it's just ridiculous. So, Lisa Haven, Justice Knight, God bless you. Thank you so much. I very much appreciate you, step, appreciate you guys stepping up putting the information out on your channels. Their channels are way bigger than mine. They've been great friends. Check them out. Restric Restricted Republic. Absolutely spectacular content. Their foodie channel as well. It's lots of fun. It's a, it's a great diversion. But let's hope. Let's hope the authorities in Florida are given enough leeway and enough latitude to actually do a real investigation into this. So, Patriot Nurse, thank you very, very much for stepping up and making the statement everybody needed to read. I know that took a lot of guts, because these days, saying anything nice about Governor DeSantis, who was um, only five seconds ago America's governor, and everybody loved him until he decided to, you know, well, I'm not going to get into it, but we will leave it there. God bless. Join us, Florida Monkey Patreon channel. Love to have you. Only a dollar. God bless. Pray for each other. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Lift each other up. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.